Venezuela's incumbent president, Nicolas Maduro, has claimed victory in a highly contentious election over the weekend. After hours of delays in announcing the results, Maduro's loyalists on the National Electoral Council claimed he secured more than 51 percent of the vote. His main opponent, Edmundo Gonzalez, apparently won 44 percent. But opposition groups say that tally does not reflect the actual results and that their polling shows Gonzalez is the real victor. Other nations have also held back in recognizing Maduro's victory. In addition to the country's recent history with voter suppression, the results were announced before votes from 30,000 polling booths nationwide were counted. There are growing international calls for a transparent, independent review of the election. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was among the international officials to express doubt, saying he has, quote, serious concerns that the result announced does not reflect the will or the votes of the Venezuelan people. Protests have started in the streets of Caracas. You're seeing video now from our CBS News correspondent, Lily Luciano. She and her team were forced to don protective vests and gas masks as police and protesters clashed on the streets nearby. Brian Berg joins me now. He's director of the Americas program and head of the Future of Venezuela Initiative at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Thank you so much for being with us. So are the calls of the, the, the what are the what's the foundation of these claims that the, the election was um, was rigged? Well, good evening, John. It's great to be with you. Uh, I think the fundamental point to, to make here is that uh, the regime took hours, even hours past when it said it was going to announce the results, to announce any kind of results. When it did announce results, it said that they were both irreversible as well as uh, showing a, a victory for Nicolás Maduro. But what the regime had done before that cast quite a bit of uh, a lack of credibility on these elections, which is to say, stealing much of the many of the ballot boxes at polling places and not allowing the opposition, which had put together a very large coalition of witnesses at each of these polling places, to actually look at the vote tallies from each of the polling places. It is part of national law in Venezuela that each polling place is supposed to produce a final tally. They did not do that, and the regime has not allowed any of those final tallies to be seen. The opposition was able to make away with some of those tallies, uh, before the regime was able to get their hands on them. And what the opposition is saying, as well as many credible pollsters who have done uh, exit polls, showing a massive uh, landslide victory for the opposition. However, there was this long waiting period, uh, a lot of doubt, and then the regime seemed to come up with some numbers out of thin air without actually proving with any kind of paper trail those numbers. And so that's the fundamental crux of the, of the problem. Can anything be done, Ryan? Well, every country that has cast doubt on the, the validity of this vote has said that they want transparency. They will recognize Maduro as the president of Venezuela if he shows transparently that he won the election. The fact that the regime hasn't done that yet has made many who are, are, are asking for this transparency to feel uh, like this has been a highly rigged election. And you can see that in the results. You just showed some videos of Venezuelans spontaneously pouring into the street to protect uh, their, their, their landslide vote for the opposition. Much of this is driven by the indignation that the regime would simply make up a number or fabricate a number out of thin air. And so I think we're gonna see days now of protests, again, driven by indignation about the way that this election was handled by the Maduro regime. And as a, a final question, Maduro came into power in 2013 and under his government, has, the, Venezuela has seen this mass exodus just to give you the numbers quickly, U.S. Customs and Border Protection said that there were only uh, 80 Venezuelan migrants at the border in 2014. With the first, within the first eight months of 2024, 217,000 Venezuelan migrants came through. How much of that can be laid at the foot of Maduro's policies, that exodus? Almost all of it, John, because the problem here is that people have lost hope. This election actually rebuilt a lot of that lost hope. The expectations for this election were astronomical, and I can only imagine what the street feels today to be let down once again. Not because they didn't come out to pro, not because they didn't come out to vote and express their their right to vote, because the regime likely stole another election from them in a series of stolen elections. So what we expect to see in the coming months 
uh, is, is another outpouring of migration as people start to lose hope that they can make a life for themselves in Venezuela. Ryan Bird from the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Thank you so much, Ryan.